go. Alright, so we're going to be demoing um, Pokemon Snap on the Oculus Rift with the Elite Motion, which you can see there. And then I have two Mile Armbands, one on each leg. Alright, let's get into it. Alright. Let's get rid of the health and safety warning first. Alright, we're good. Yeah, you could just get the, uh, the screen's captured, so. Alright, so we ripped the 3D model of the island from the game, updated some of the textures, and we added like a ocean mesh kind of. It's not the best, but it, it works. Alright. And so the way we take pictures is we make this gesture. And then we go down like that. So the angle between the two fingers, uh, when it decreases from around 45, over 45 degrees, like under you know, 10 or something, it takes a picture. And there's like, if you move your hands around a lot like that, it can also take it. It's a weird glitch with it, but it's more. So we're going to run forward. much better than before. It's much faster. Alright, so if I look at a Pokemon, um, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but white text will appear telling me which Pokemon I'm looking at. And how that works is that we draw a raycast straight out from wherever I'm looking. Uh, and if that collides with the Pokemon, then the Pokemon's name will appear. And so I'm going to take a picture of Pikachu. Alright. Let's go forward. Oh, there's Butterfree. Oh, this is a bit disorienting. Oh, no, right there. And it, uh, you might not be able to tell, but um, I did a bit of uh, animation on almost all the models. Obviously not Snorlax, which is coming up. But Butterfree Pikachu, Magikarp, and um, I think that was it. Maybe one of the other ones. I think Meowth has something, I don't know. Just to give them a bit more lifelikeness. And as you probably already can tell, up here in this corner is the film counter. In the original game it was 60. I don't think we'll be getting through all 60. But it's just there. Because of how much we have left. Alright. There we go. Looks like it didn't kind of make me out. Thanks. I got to where I am now in like 3D space. <laughs> Alright, so luckily this map isn't like going to make me spin circles. And there, the magic carp of Butterfly. There we go. Awesome. Um, unfortunately, there. No, it's not working. There you go. There's a bounding box right here that prevents me from running off, and that uh, interrupts the raycast. Um, probably should change that. So, still get the picture, just doesn't tag it as the Pokemon. It's still a bit clunky on the running, um, but it's much better than before. It doesn't take as long. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, 
that was good. Hmm. I'm having trouble with it for some reason. There we go. That's good. So you do have a model. Yeah, if I do it, if I do it that way, it'll get better. Almost done. Yeah, one more. Two more pictures. Fishy right there. And that is kind of there. But again, there is a uh, wall, a good wall that keeps us from falling. Alright, so when I walk through this portal, there's a collider that will end the game, and then it will upload all the pictures that we've taken. Oh, um, just probably quick note, all the pictures that we've taken in game have been saved um, to this computer that we're running it on and they will be uploaded to an AWS server, and then we're going to be able to access them through a mobile app. So I'll show you guys right now. So I'll try to put that on. Yeah. So once that finishes updating, Um, the reason why it takes so long is that peer-to-peer -peer, um, network doesn't work. Peer-to-peer -peer network communications doesn't work in this network. And for some reason, I can't get any HTTP requests to my AWS instance. However, SCP works, and SSH works, so we're SCPing all the files. Just a pain in the ass. Alright, so I'm going to tell the server to update itself. All right, and I will hand it off to you mm -hmm. with the mobile app. Mm -hmm. Let's open it up. So this is our mobile app, and our um, this first screen here, we have the different people who have used the app. Um, and so if I go under John's gallery, it's going to pop up all the pictures he's taken. It just, it takes a few seconds. My name isn't John, it's just <laughs> name I put in. Yeah, so um, it has different ones. If the, um, if it was pointing directly at a Pokemon, it would actually put the name on there. So like Snorlax, WMG, um, all of these. If it didn't know what it was, it has unknown Pokemon 1, 2, 3, or 1, 3, 5, I guess. Um, so if I click on Snorlax, I can rate the picture. So I think that is a four. Um, I'm going to identify it as Snorlax, and I'm going to submit it, and then that goes up to our server. So mm. you can do that for multiple. And as you see, it's a dynamic um, scrolling. And you'll notice that all of the pictures that you would be able to see on here are the pictures we took, except for we zoomed in the camera a bit, so we could get a better picture. So I can also just go back and my pictures are on here too. It takes just a little bit. Uh-oh, that crashed. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and that's, that's the end. <laughs> yeah, that's the end. Mm -hmm. Recast, that's what it's called. <laughs> uh.